Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen from VanVeenBulbs.com. And now we're going to learn about how to plant Lily of the Valley bulbs, which is pretty easy. So Lily of the Valley are just a set of roots, <clears throat> and they have little pips. So it's really all about the pips that's going to make it bloom. So on each side where there was a stem this last year, if you peel it away, you'll see that there's a really little pip. And that is what's going to make the growth for next year. So that I need to plant about three inches deep in a shady spot, but not too much shade. If there's weeds growing or ferns or hostas growing, Lily of the Valley will grow. If you've got nothing in that area because you never water it or it's just too deep a shade or it's full of moss, then you're not going to get Lily of the Valley to grow either. But they'll grow in the container or the ground really easily. They're such a tough plant, but you never let them dry out. You can plant them any time of the year, but just keep that ground moist. So I've got my nice little shade garden area, and it's actually, I'm creating a, mood gar a moon garden as well. So I'm trying to get all white flowers, shade flowers in here. So Lily of the Valley is going to be just perfect. So when I plant it, I want to dig, kind of loosen up the dirt around it so that it's not just into hard dirt. And you want to make sure it's kind of broken up. And I want to plant them about three inches deep, so I'm going to dig down a little ways. It doesn't have to be real deep. And then I'm kind of just, don't have to be exact. I'm just kind of placing them underneath. And there's not really an up or down because I've noticed they'll work their way up from any direction. But once I have a good wad of roots too, I found one by itself takes a lot of years to really get going, but three or five or more and they'll do really well quicker. So then I'm just kind of putting them back underneath. I'm not taking a measuring stick. I don't know exactly that it's three inches deep. I'm kind of just setting them in there. Another trick is I kind of just step them in there just because I've noticed sometimes I'll pull them back up easier if I don't step them down and the ground's pretty sweat so I really don't need to water right now I've watered really well yesterday I'll just water them the next time I water this area and they'll get right on schedule and I don't think I'll see anything from them until April of next year they'll, they'll come out and bloom in May and June so even though I planted them in the fall or late summer I'm not gonna see them till late spring but that's okay with me I know they're there and they're gonna keep multiplying while I wait